Hello, I'm Connell, and this is The Wild. On today's video, we're going to be answering a question that I get asked a lot. How can I help wildlife? As I'm sure you're aware, wildlife across the planet is struggling. Animals are being pushed towards extinction by large-scale habitat loss, poaching, climate change, and many other factors. So when we're thinking about how we can help wildlife, it can seem quite overwhelming. But there are some very simple things that we can all do. And today we're going to be looking at three simple ways to help wildlife at home. Here we go. Number one, balloons. Or more specifically, releasing balloons into the air. As the old saying goes, what goes up must come down. And when balloons are released into the air, they will fall to the ground as a piece of non-biodegradable plastic pollution. This has a really negative impact on wildlife all over the world. This can affect anything from sea turtles to seabirds to owls. And it's something that is so simple that we can all not do. I'm not a complete killjoy. If you want to have balloons, that's absolutely fine. Just don't let them go into the air and then that will be a big way of helping wildlife. Simple. On to number two. Number two, reduce our waste. This is along the same lines as number one, but plastic pollution and litter is one of the biggest problems facing wildlife today, and it's something that we can all take a little bit of control over. One of the best ways that we can help reduce our waste is by buying a reusable water bottle. Reusable water bottles save us time, money, save wildlife. It's actually a win-win-win. And don't drop litter. There are bins literally everywhere. It's not that difficult. If there's not a bin, put it in your pocket. Just don't drop it. Very simple. And finally for number two, microbeads. Microbeads are tiny bits of non-biodegradable plastic that you get in cosmetic products. Things like toothpaste, face wash, and shower gels. They are in a lot more products than you think, and at the moment, cosmetic companies do not need to label that something has microbeads in them. Avoiding microbeads can be quite difficult, so that you do have to do a little bit of research, but there are, it is possible to find products without microbeads in them. You can also email your MPs and ask to, for them to discuss banning microbeads, as well as signing official government petitions. Microbeads are so bad because they're so tiny, they do not get uh, taken out during the sewage treatment process, which means they go straight down your sink and straight into the lakes and the ocean. So avoiding microbeads and calling for a ban is a huge thing that we can do. Number three, learn about it. This is a really overlooked one, but simply learning about wildlife can help wildlife. The more people that learn about wildlife by reading books, watching documentaries, watching wildlife in their garden, watching wildlife in their area, the more people that do this, the better chance wildlife has of surviving. Knowledge is power, and the more we know, the more we can do to help. So there we go, three simple steps that we can do to help wildlife at home. There are many more things that we can do, but I just wanted to say that no one is perfect. We're not always the perfect eco-warriors all the time, but if we all could just take some simple steps to help wildlife, we can make a massive difference and have a positive impact. Thank you for watching this video. For more weekly wildlife videos every Wednesday, don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.